Is that who I think it is? It's you guys. Wow, I haven't seen you since last year. <laughs> I had to, okay? Hello. Hello there. Happy 2024. So yeah, new year, new me. Do you guys have any new year's resolutions? Do you even believe in new year's resolutions? Because depending on what it is, it could it could work. We're going to start off the year fresh in Blocksburg, and I'm going to be deleting, of course, I'm going to be doing the once a year, I'm um, deleting my Blocksburg builds video. I only do this like once or twice a year, but yeah, we're starting off the year strong by clearing up some builds, getting some money back for future builds. And it's also kind of like a show and tell. I get to go back, go down memory lane, of my old builds delete them i get to bulldoze them okay there's a few builds i will not be deleting it's not every single build that i show you will be deleted because it's just time to attach to them okay this is just my chill like recording spots i'm never going to be deleting this at least for a while i feel like i could expand on it a bit more right now it's on a hold a very long pause but how's your guys 2024 going it just yeah it's it's going can't say too much it's just the first day okay let's start from the top of the list return to build this was when I was on a like a very like kind of small building break and then I wanted to just get used to building again oh my gosh this is my little little tiny cottage I wanted to make next to like the pond and stuff it's kind of more like natural it looks really weird because the snow and the grass are not yeah we're gonna get rid of that I'm gonna get rid of this I get ninety three thousand dollars and inventory items Ooh, let's see what we get kind of like an unboxing oh just three pumpkins never mind okay that's enough. Goodbye. Freedom. Yes. One. <laughs> I don't know what to name these. Tiny winter cabin. I know it's just a cabin. Nothing crazy. And I can easily remake this if I wanted to need this. I think I'm gonna delete it. This is my creeper cabin, by the way. I call this my creeper cabin. Eat up bread. Boom. All right. Oh, we're getting my motorcycle back and some other things. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, freedom. Yes, too. Tiny can I live here? Yep, I'm deleting this one. That's for sure. I don't even remember what this one was. Oh, yeah. This is another tiny house in winter. I had an obsession with, like, tiny houses in winter for some reason. It'd be great. I love it. Ooh, my express brew. Yes, express. Freedom. Yes, three. Barry venue recreation. Gosh. So, for those that don't know, if you played Barry avenue you may recognize this house in the game a pre-built house um this was a fun one to recreate i did a video on this rebuilding one of their houses in this game to get as accurate as possible but i had some differences because proportions in each game are different very fun game i should actually go back to that game and like look at the more new houses if they have any sure they have some new houses yeah it's Amberry's game. All right. Oh my gosh, guys, we're gonna be rich again. I'm so excited. Freedom, yes, four, F five. It's four. Freedom, yes, four. Okay. Oh, uh, this money is gonna disappear so quick though, depending on what I build next. I don't know. If you haven't noticed, I'm actually trying to take a, a small break. <laughs> a small break from building again, because doing that town, like honestly, kind of rushing that town burnt me out already from building. So may you may see a little tiny break. The hood recreation. I'm actually gonna skip the dream house because uh, I don't know why I'm attached to it, but we'll wait. We'll wait on that. This is the hood house. It's one of the houses you find in the hood. Purchase button. I don't know. I think you would step on this button and you would get something. Very beautiful. I must say, it's quite a quite a look. What if I try to like renovate this? You know, that'd be so funny. Maybe I'll try to recreate another the hood house. Freedom. Yes. Uh, freedom. Yes. Five. Bread City Square. Do I get rid of that? No, I can't. I can't. <gasps> I still want to do grand openings with Bread City Square. So, like, I want to do some more off-camera grand openings now that we have an updated permission thing. But I'm going to keep the Bread City Square just for grand openings um, whenever. I already deleted my triangle house. As you can see, there's zero. Goodbye to that. Baguette Fortress. Low key, I want to delete this one. My kingdom. I would like to call it my kingdom, even though it's not an actual kingdom. What's going on? Okay, it was still loading. Wait, why do I want to keep it? I kind of want to keep it. Can I keep this, guys? Can I keep it? It's actually, I have to show my friends this, okay? I have to show them. Okay, hold on. I need to keep this. I'm lying. Okay. You know, I'll show you guys my Baguette Fortress, but I'm not deleting it. Um, This was a warning from the beginning of the video. Yep. Um, I really like this build. Uh, Did I build it in 2023? I think so. Got my own little village going on over here. This is the village area. Got a little marketplace with like a tavern and... I don't know what this was. Oh, the whole thing was a tavern. Okay. And we had some horse stables with the transparent decals. Then my actual quote unquote castle. It's not really. 
I like the interior more than the exterior. Ooh, maybe I don't like it so much. I, I may re I'm gonna revisit that. I may actually end up deleting it. Okay, look, as you can see, there's more Frida plots with zero money. Let's go to the bird bathhouse. I'm actually gonna delete all my silly builds too. It's based off the Bloxburg bird bath, as you can see. Or, I mean, honestly, all bird baths kind of just look like this. Um, yeah, it was a bird bath turned into a house with my strange build series coming back. So there's a actual, there's an actual hidden door, I think, like right here. And then, um, you have the first area, which is the bathroom, and then like the foyer. Climb up the ladder, you find yourself in the kitchen, which is pretty round. Then you find yourself in the bedroom, which I find cozy. It's also really cramped. And then somehow you're able to climb up. I actually made it climbable, so you would climb this ladder, climb up here, climb on the tree, and then you would be able to sit at the very top. Balcony, rooftop, sort of barbecue area. Friendly duck with a knife there, no problems. Okay, bending machine house. I love this one. Okay, so back to my strange builds. I did build a vending machine house a long time ago, like many years ago. And then I decided to do a brand new one that's more updated because, you know, my building skills, I would like to say, have gotten a little bit better, you know? So uh, we did that and actually turned out way better than the first time. Especially since we have like new like basic shapes and stuff to like make do things a little bit easier we're gonna just walk in the front door's here foyer you got like an office straight out the blue this is a bathroom i think yep i remember that then this is a closet oh, aha there you go up the stairs you got the kitchen and the living room together very fun and then up this ladder is um this is a bedroom and its own ensuite bathroom pretty fun here too but yeah i'm getting i'm getting rid of it sorry they're gonna have to just watch this video to find it i already lost count is this the sixth or seventh it was the seventh okay freedom yes Seven. <laughs> seven. Seven, guys, seven. We're keeping my mansion lodge. Um, It's still Halloweenified. I'll show you guys what this looks like. It's been a little while since I've been here. I did say it was my main house, too. We'll take a look, a quick glance at my mansion. My my fall lodge mansion, yes. As you can see, still fall. I don't know if I'm going to update it for winter, but um, definitely one of the houses I'm keeping. Um, Still, the roof looks... I don't know why my roof still looks like that. It's off a real-life house, too, like, honestly. I should make a brand new winter cabin, though. I definitely want to make a brand new winter cabin. It's been one year since this one. Technically, wait. One year or two years? Oh, One year. It's been one year since this one. So I want to make a brand new one. So look out for that. Yeah. Coffee shop, coffee stain. Oh, yeah. Appreciate it first before the bulldozing. I made a coffee shop. More of like a industrial sort of um, like renovated trailer co container house into a coffee shop thing in celebration of coffee stain like partnership with Bloxburg. So I made, yeah, coffee stain, coffee shop. Yeah. And on the, of course, there's like a balcony level as well. You can go up here and chill and drink your coffee here as well. And it was cute. It was cute for what it was. I'm gonna take a picture of that. <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture of that. But yeah, let's get rid of all the bills. I liked it. It was cute. Get my espresso brews back in my jukebox and my heart gift bags. Wow, so many things. Okay. Okay, new food station. This was only a place where I make food, so I'm keeping the food station just to stock up on any limited foods. Sectional house. That for sure. Delete. We must get rid of this one. Oh yeah. I made a house out of sectionals only because um because of the the new like I think this was early in 2023, like at least February, March or something. Yeah, made a whole house out of it. Used it for literally all the walls and didn't have any actual doors. Yeah, I just decorate inside and it seems pretty decent. Freedom, yes, nine. I think that's nine. Yay! Okay, moving on. Upside down house! And because of the Transform Plus Game Pass being added, this was an idea, you know? All made out of basic shapes. Does stick everything close together as much as I could and I was able to literally this build, you can fully transform you can fully move the entire house where do i start where how do i how do i move the entire thing again i forgot yay and i got my mini fridge back <laughs> freedom yes 10 i think that was the 10th build wow 10 builds <gasps> oh underwater waterfall home oh yeah my underwater home as you can see i you can live like ariel or something this is a waterproof TV that works underwater. But yeah, we got multi-level like pools. So that's what I wanted to do is just to make this waterfall underwater house. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. 
So this was my take on a Mediterranean home. I will say I really liked it. I really like it. Not perfect, obviously. Definitely not perfect, but definitely one of the favorite builds I did this year. And the back was basically, it was like, this house, it was pretty much a combination of two different real life houses I based it off of. So the front was one image and then the back of the house was from a different house. So I like put those two together, you know, formed it to become one thing. And this is what we got. I really like it. Yeah. And these stepping stones took a lot of time, but I feel like in the end was worth it. It was pretty nice. And it was a different style for me to practice with. Wow. So fun. Freedom, yes. 12. Build together. Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. This is my build together plot. I built this with my friend Morgan. Um, she did a lot of the, ex uh, the exterior, like landscaping and stuff. It doesn't look... <laughs> okay, it kind of looks crazy with the snow right now. But even if I made the snow like green it would look really janky look at this look what they did with the grass look what they did with the grass it's using the snow texture and i'm sure they'll fix it by this coming week yeah oh my gosh am i oh but yeah build this with my friend morgan we did a tiny container house two stories um i did mainly the interior which is you can tell that i did the interior because it's kind of like my my style um bathroom was something for sure the bedroom here was all right i think she did some of the backyard though like she actually i think she did this portion of the house we didn't want to give it legs though because then it would like walk away freedom yes 13 gotta go it's gotta go modern industrial home oh i love this house too wait i don't know why it's like the simplicity of it but also like i don't know i really like the shape of it too i think this was also based off a of real life house that I just decorated myself. Hey, now I'm at 1.1. Oh, I got my trophy back. Yes, 15. Give me my money back. 16. Of course, Christmas Town will not be deleted. I actually forgot to rename it to um Gingerbread Home 2022. We can get rid of this. Definitely got a lot of candy for sure. Something that 2023 lacked was candy. <laughs> Cabana Unana House. I forgot what number one. Freedom, yes, 22. House under the bridge. Ew, I don't even want to talk about this one. Let's just get rid of it. Let's just let's just say goodbye to it. Uh, I think it's because of the hatches and stuff that we got. And I did this build like quickly because I was going on a vacation. I think it was because I went to Disney. Freedom, yes, thirty four. I think I was going to Disney, so I did this video idea quickly. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's get now. I love how I knew exactly what what happened with this. Yeah, my fifteen minutes to build something, and I decided to go with a log cabin based off a real life Google image. Welcome to Chili's. Uh, sad to say now, I'm actually going to end up deleting this build. But why? Like, what? The Chili's that I built. I feel like this is still one of my best, like, recreations of a restaurant, exterior-wise. Interior is like, eh, it's whatever. But, um, you guys wanna go to Chili's? You guys wanna go to Chili's? Well, we can always have it in memory, like, actual memory. It's okay. And then the back, you can see, like, trash and, um, I think it's time to say goodbye to Chili's. Uh, Freedom, yes, 38. Oh my gosh. One of my oldest builds, for sure. Getting deleted like that. Huh. House hee hee hee. Oh, this is going to give me so much money because look how much water I placed. Yes, I was so excited to start building like a boat house because I am obsessed with houses over water. Let's get rid of that. I got 349,000. I have $3.2 million, guys. Oh my gosh, yes. New project coming. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm not doing a project for a while. I am sick. <laughs> sick of building. Because I don't want to have 44 plots like the other video, I want to do 45. So I'm going to get rid of the Japanese starter house as well. Okay. But that will wrap up today's New Year's kickoff Bloxburg video. If you guys enjoyed it, and interesting in a way, inspiring, make sure to leave a big old thumbs up. And make sure you hit the subscribe button too. It is completely free. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Ah, yes. The annual deleting video has happened. Have you deleted any builds since the new year? Or are you attached to them?